380 billion is spent on oh, diabetes Jesus. care every year. Eight out of 10 diabetes uh, patients do eventually succumb to diabetes related illness down the line. 10 years of, on average, it can reduce your lifespan. Oh, yeah. You have no historical precedence. You can't see what others had done before because you're the first one doing it. But that's also a part of the excitement as as an innovator, as a trailblazer, is that you're paving the path for the first time. In type 2 diabetes, the beta cells play a very critical role. This pool of beta cells begins to deplete uh, leading to uh, increasing levels of blood glucose. And this could be because the cells are dying, the cells are unable to regenerate or replicate, uh, or all of the above. It has um, been estimated that at the time of diagnosis of type 2 diabetes, a patient has already lost 50% you know, or perhaps greater of their beta cell mass and their beta cell so-called function. And many of our patients with type 2 diabetes, at the end of the day, will require insulin in order to obtain and maintain good glucose control. But none of the existing therapies today cure type 2 diabetes. For curing the disease, it appears that one has to address the root cause of the disease, which is deficiency of beta cells. So uh, in that context, it appears that BMF 209 would play uh, an important role because it would be addressing the root cause of diabetes. Menin is a protein that controls the number of beta cells. The beta cells produce insulin. The cause of diabetes is insufficient insulin. BMF 219 regulates the activity of menin and in so doing, allows us to have a meaningful impact on diabetic patients. This is a 3D print of Menin, and this allowed us to really have a deep understanding of how the scaffold protein works. And what I had an appreciation for were all the different nodules and, and hooking points that, that you see uh, with this protein. And that explains why Menin has over a thousand binding partners. We used BMF 219 to form a covalent bond inside. This renders the, the protein futile and is sent outside of the nucleus. And so that allows us to disrupt or to impact any protein-protein interaction that Menin wants to form with because we take it out of the nucleus. Last year at ADA, we were able to highlight two key preclinical studies that we conducted with BMF 219. We showed that these animals could restore their glycemic control by inhibiting menin. Now we have clinical experience. We've actually reported top line clinical data at the end of March of this year. And importantly, the clinical experience thus far with BMF 219 in diabetes has completely paralleled what we would have predicted from the preclinical data we presented last year. We have exactly seen the same pattern in the clinical setting. Almost 90% of patients had some kind of reduction in A1C. 78% had 0.5 or more reduction in A1C. And 50, more than 50% of patients had 1% or more reduction in A1C. So this has been very remarkable data. I have a patient that started the A1C. It was 8.0. This patient now, week 12, now is 6.9. A1C. So you can see it's an amazing decrease and then remain steady and remain stable in the number of A1C. And this medication does not cause any side effects, especially hypoglycemia or GI symptoms like diarrhea, like metformin. These patients, they are super happy. We do a physical exam when they come to the office and they are doing amazing. What excites us about the data are, are, are a few things. First and foremost, it's really targeting the underlying pathology of the disease. The second thing that we really like is that it can be given on top of standard of care, very early on background medicines. And then thirdly, it's an oral therapy. People are not on chronic therapy. They get an oral agent. Nothing needs to be injected. And once the pool has grown, you go your merry way until the pool depletes again. The base case we believe for BMF 219 is that we make standard of care diabetic agents better 
Because the, many of those agents need a functional beta cell pool to have their anti-diabetic activity. The strategy of Biomea is flawless. It's irrefutable. And the fact of the matter is, if it works, I mean, let, let's be honest, it's nothing short of brilliant. And the world needs these kinds of drugs for perhaps obvious reasons. So it really comes down to the, the effectiveness of the drug. If BMF 219 does what it appears to be able to do, then this is absolutely spectacular. What it means to me to be able to have this opportunity to target a patient population that's over a half a billion worldwide is to be able to address the root cause. So what a wonderful opportunity that is for us to be able to deliver an agent for the first time in history that can increase your insulin production.